Hello, the goal of this tutorial is to, to visualize the most important customers that buy a lot of uh, items and uh, the most important uh, items uh, that sold during uh, two years. Our data is composed to three columns. The first one is the member number, the second one is date, and the third one is the item description. We have uh, to convert uh, the member ID as string to consider this as string and not as number. Now we have a uh, ready uh, data frame. So we go now to the empty sheet. The first one we have to uh, to put, uh, um, for example, member in the column and the items in the row. So we have all items here in the in the rows and the, all members in the columns. We need uh, maybe uh, to add uh, years or dates in the rows like this. Now we have each items two years. After we have to count items per each uh, to count as per each year for each customers. So now we have the count measure count and put it like uh, in colors. We have here, for example, one both for beef for customers 1001. We can add another label, label like uh, with count in the text to visualize the number of count for each items and for each customers. Now we have uh, to arrange or sort uh, uh, the items by uh, the most uh, sold items. You can go here and sort discreting by field items count now visualize the wool milk other vegetable rolls bones soda yo yogurt etc are the best or the top the top of items sort of items also we can sort customers uh, by the most uh, active customers like this member sort descending okay descending items count Okay, we can view that the uh, member 3180 uh, was both 3 milk in uh, 2014 and 1 times only for 2015. So uh, we can filter only top 10 customers and top 10 items uh, by adding, for example, um, here, for example, items, or maybe, yeah, items here, top 10, items description count, okay. So now we have all items, and we can do the same thing for the member can filter uh, top 10 okay now we, we have matrix with the top 10 items and the top 10 customers 
Uh, for the next uh, sheets, we will try to visualize the behavior of the, the customers. For this, we need uh, to put years or date in the columns and add the quarter, add a item description and member here, all members. After that, we need to count the items here, as you count and put it back as heat map occurs. We can do the same thing for label count like this. And after that, we can filter only the top 10 members. So we put the member here, only top. That's this. Okay. After that, we can maybe uh, arrange, arrange the items by uh, the top 10 uh, descending field item count okay so with this matrix you can visualize uh, the top 10 customers and um, its uh, activities by buying the most important uh, products or items here that's all thank you we can visualize here for example for the, the whole milk uh, we have more salt or more transaction in uh, 2015 compared to 2014 thank you